Hi all, it's Rach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Scorpio. Now this will be for November 2022. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It is not going to suit everyone. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Also time can be fluid Energy can be vice versa, so keep that in mind. Right. Let's just put it down a little bit. Okay. Let's find out what's going on with your score. Okay, you've got mice, first of all. This is on the bottom. Now, mice are like little pests that, you know, they're known to cause problems, they're known to eat food, they're known to, you know, the normal type things that the reason people don't like mice is for that reason. Because, you know, like look in the picture, right? They like to sit there and eat all of the food, you know. So for me, this is about loss. This is about um, stress. This is about anxiety. This is, you know, some sort of nuisance, pest. Um, you know, they like to nibble away at food, things, you know, like the apples down below here, you know. So they could be a sort of a loss of some kind that you've had um yeah like pretty much it's it's just generally about the the loss that you've had um now you've also got the stalk and you've got the four leaf clover in reverse you've also got the rider i think that is and the bird um i think this is like the bird like a bird nesty looking thing in reverse lots of things are in reverse i mean the clover in reverse bad luck um the pests well the the mice as such they're known as bad luck um you know so there's been a few different things that you've got going on that are just not all that great um the stalk is about um spring and it's about like in the picture like you can see the baby and the mom and there's the sun so things are going to start getting better it could be some sort of family addition like maybe you're pregnant or someone around you is pregnant but it's also about upgrades, it's about improvements, it's about, um, I feel like you're moving on from something that, yeah, like with, with the, the um, mice, it's like you're moving on from something that's bringing you bad luck, that didn't work out the way you'd hoped. With the mice, it's, you know, there's, I feel like something else involved going on. Um, now, the... With the rider and the stalk, this is about some sort of news that's going to come in. Now, because the news, the the rider's in reverse, right? So the rider in reverse is not a good thing. It's normally like bad news. Um, but yeah, there's some sort of news. Now, this is number five and five is about a loss, right? So two and three, five. So there is definitely some sort of loss. The stalks are number 17, 7, 1 is 8. That's about action, transformation, um, you know. So I guess that's why you move, that's why it's all about movement and about, um, you know, upgrades and whatever because you're transforming, you're taking action. Um, the four-leaf clover being two, you, it's like there is no choice in some sort of partnership or I guess it could also be that, um you don't want to make a choice or there is like the choice is out of your control is what i just heard 
um so yeah like i don't know i just feel like the four leaf clover is not that much like it's bad luck um now the writer as i said is about news um yeah you're probably not going to enjoy the the reply if it's you know around a four leaf clover that's in reverse and this bird's whatever bird's house it's probably not you know good news that you would hope for um but it's more about the birds and you know birds are about a phone call a text some sort of communication right so yeah i just feel like it can also be about people gossiping and um especially online but i feel like somebody possibly is uh i feel like it's like something with the writer here it's like I don't know all the cards are kind of in reverse and then you've got the pest so and you're taking action to move away from something so I don't know I just feel like it's a lot of bad news but we'll, we'll see what else the cards bring out um, but it looks like there's going to be communication it's just not what you want to hear really Yeah, two and one with the bird's house. Two and one is three, and it's about action taken, and it's in reverse. So it's like definitely a lack of action being taken or, yeah, not good, not, not what you want to hear. Okay. As much as there's something you don't want to hear, I feel like it's going to help you move on right it's you've got mojo now mojo is helping you like you're getting your mojo back um you're changing your focus and your perspective from something mainly your focus but you're changing it from something to something else now there's going to be something else coming in right so i feel like this person is going to be more your more what you're after really and maybe this lack of communication is going to help you move on but i feel like this person like look at this picture right this one came out with one of the other readings i can't remember which one it was um but whatever one it was, it's like somebody, it could be you, could be your person manifesting. And this is a different energy from this, right? This is obviously not going anywhere. You have a shared mission with somebody and you're manifesting somebody new. They're manifesting you, you're manifesting them. You're going to understand each other. You're going to respect each other. You've got some sort of shared mission. Like you both probably both spiritual both you both have this passion for each other you're both going to find each other really attractive um there's like a glow uh spark you know like it's to me this is like divine counterpart kindred spirit kind of person look your high consciousness is a, is awakened. Um, I just, yeah. Someone coming in new is going to definitely be someone more your, uh, more your equal, more your divine counterpart, more somebody that shares the same kind of interests or the same kind of beliefs or the same has the same kind of values like this person i don't know i just keep hearing like twin flame soulmate kind of relationship
You understand and respect each other. That's huge. How many more? I currently feel like you have a lack of faith, though, like that this is going to happen. And maybe that's just because you're not in a good place yourself. Um, look, you've got affirmation for healing the heart in reverse. Ground and center in reverse. Sun and stars in reverse. I feel like this is just draining. It's exhausting. You're probably in this place of working on yourself. Um, you've gone into hermit mode as well. Um, but I feel like, like, don't worry. This person could be a water sign um, like you. But I feel like this person is going to come in and it's going to be like true love. Like I said, this is going to be your person. At the moment, though, I don't quite feel like you're over some sort of air sign. You need to learn from whatever you've um, been through, like learn from failure. But I feel like you've got good things coming. So keep having the faith. I want to say, though, don't put up your walls too much when it comes to this person because this person is not your ex, right, or your past. So I feel like just make sure that you keep yourself, like, open to this experience, this person. Okay, so, yeah, you haven't dealt with your inner peace. Um, but I feel like you're breaking the cycle with the wheel of life. I feel like you are going to break the cycle. Now, there's you going through this heartbreak, right? You haven't dealt with this loss. I feel like you haven't got closure on this situation. Um, just give me one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, phone calls. Okay, so you haven't yet dealt with this loss, right? This, I feel like this really hurt you. You, you loved this person, but I feel like you had to go through this. I feel like you had to go through this. It's part of your destiny. You had to learn a lesson. Um, I mean, like I heard something the other day, you know, like if you if you could give so much to somebody that didn't deserve your time and effort and that it didn't work with, imagine what it would be like when you meet somebody that it does work with. You've got to be open to other blessings because I feel like you're very shut off to that. Like, I don't even know if you're manifesting, but I feel like it's more about you. your focus is on this loss rather than, like, the future. Um, there is going to be some sort of positive news coming in, though. As much as the other stuff is not so positive, you know, like it might not be what you want to hear, but maybe in a way this this message is positive because you know what? There's that saying, once again, I mentioned this a few times and I still don't know the saying, but it's like whatever God protects you from, it's it's like his protection. It's I don't I can't remember the saying, but it's like 
whatever hasn't turned out, you know, like worked out, turned out the way you hoped or whatever, it's God's protection because he sees things we don't see, right? Now, there is going to be positive news and, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oops, wrong deck for a start. <laughs> I just want to put them over there. Okay, let's move on. more definitely need to heal your um or balance your root chakra because that's what we deal with every day you know like our safety security our food our money our you know everything it's like everything you need to survive so i feel like you need to balance or heal that um movement could help maybe even just dance around your house you know like enjoying yourself listening to some music it doesn't have to be around anyone else maybe you just need to do some sort of movement or physical something physical this could be you or it could be somebody else but um you could be also as i said it could be about an earth sign um or a water sign that doesn't have to be. People are going to be different. I feel like though this uh, situation with the pest, this just reminds me of like third party, you know, like somebody that's, it's like not, you're not welcoming of their, whatever they're they're doing like you know them eating your food you're not welcoming them you're not asking for them to come in and you know eat your food and you know involve themselves in your life you're not asking for that right this person is a pest so be aware of that because it's a challenge and an obstacle this is, you know, and it causes a lot of conflict and loss and it could have caused this conflict and loss for some people, this third party situation. And it might not even be just one. Like if you look in the picture, right, there's three mice, four mice, five mice, five mice, one, two, three, four, five. There's a ringleader and then there's all these other people. So it could even be a group of people. It doesn't have to be one specific person, but I feel like there is somebody that's like a ringleader. Um, yeah. This person, I mean, you could have had some sort of contract, soul contract with this person. This person could be a soulmate. You know, there was passion. Um, I feel like you liked each other equally. There was chemistry. But unfortunately, there's somebody who is self-absorbed they're a narcissist and so you know i feel like you kept trying to fix this person you kept trying to you know help this person and you know that's not a good that's not a good way to do it you're not a rehab center you're not a list to fix it you're not it's not your problem you can only control you just give me one sec My leg back up if I can oh, that's better. okay now it looks like this person's coming back it looks like you know somebody wants to reunite somebody wants to get back together and things will start flowing well again there's the two of you like are things going to change though I don't feel like you I don't know if you want to take the risk. It came out like this, right? So I don't know if you want to take the risk. I don't know if you trust this person. I feel like you think that this person is has secrets, is hiding things. I just, 
but you're looking back and you know you do you do miss each other you miss this person they miss you you enjoy spending time together I feel like you make each other happy it's like playful and you know this person it's I'm not sure if you want to take the chance I'm not sure if yeah I'm not sure if you want to take the chance like is this just gonna happen again are things gonna change you know what I mean Somebody needs to heal their own, like, their own self. Could be one of you, both of you, whatever this is. But I feel like this isn't a healthy relationship. I feel like somebody needs to raise their vibration. Um, you know, like attracts like. And I, I'm not sure if you're both on the same level. Okay, what is the outcome? There's a lack of faith, like I said. Oops. I don't know. It to me this is like this situation you or your person or both of you look at it like it's a missed opportunity like there's regrets there's um yeah so you both kind of one of you or both of you or whatever left this space right they still like you you still like them um but there was no I don't know, I just feel like somebody broke the everlasting promise. Like it never made, like wedding, it never made it to that commitment. Okay, what will happen if this person and Scorpio get back together? Oops. There's always going to be this third party. But I feel like somebody's realised the grass isn't greener. There's been a lack of communication. At the same time, not wanting to move on, not wanting to end this. See the red flags though. You know, figure out what if, whatever you are, your deal breakers. And don't let somebody, like break your boundaries don't let somebody cross your boundaries that goes against what you want for your life Tell me more. The Black Widow. It's like I feel like the you're needing to take back your own power. I feel like this thunderstorm i want to say the trouble's over the conflict is over like i just want to say you know it's in reverse right so i want to say that this is over um maybe because you walked away maybe because of whatever now you've got black widow and it's in reverse Why is the Black Widow here for Scorpio? I 
I feel like this situation is, there's a bug here, this situation is um, toxic, right? I feel like this relationship could be toxic. There could be somebody, because this other person, this pest, is coming in and causing, you know, all kinds of ruckus and mess and drama and God knows what, right? So I feel like you're not seeing something, though, that maybe this your person was also part of this uh, low vibration group, the pests. Maybe your person was that. Um, But I feel like somebody made a decision, right? You could also have gone through court with this person. You've made some decisions. Working on yourself, somebody is definitely working on themselves. Somebody else is definitely narcissist, a narcissist, and I feel like you are seeing that for what it is. Um, you're like a sapphire, though, like... You know, you're very kind and valued and, you know, strong and, you know, you have hope, you have faith, all these things. At the same time, I feel like you're a well of emotion, you know, like you need to go within and find out how you feel. Maybe some of you should go and travel or... Go on a holiday. Um, somebody sees you as being like prosperous, seeing, sees you as being um, self-indulgent or you have the comforts, the wealth, like somebody sees that. You know, maybe you're a person that likes a lot of perfume or fine things or um, but somebody keeps playing the victim they have tunnel vision and they they think that they're this victim person with this victim mentality but they really don't want to see the situation for what it is. Definitely a rejection or a breaking up. The end, somebody needing to cut cords. It's like a Dear John letter. I feel like you don't see this person really for what they are. Like they're cunning and they're twisted and they're somebody who betrays you um i think you see this person as being somebody that is a lot better person than what you think so you're gonna you know raise your vibration you've got a high vibe and it's all about success and being joyful and being independent and stress-free and letting something go Because you want a partnership that's going to work together as a team. One more. I just feel like there's a lack of, you know, you thought this person loved you and, you know, I just feel like they really didn't. Caused you a lot of anxiety. This whole situation didn't make you feel good. Right, let's get some tarot. Tell me more, just Scorpio. The 
the lovers. There's something that you feel is your divine person, right? And you... Oh, it's like repetitive. It's like you're doing something over and over and over and over. So maybe with this person you break up, get back together, break up, get back together, break up. It's like back and forth. You've even got back and forth on the two of coins. It's a balancing act. Somebody's playing playing mind games in this situation or you don't get to speak your truth. There's gossip, like I said. Um, but I feel like you're making some plans, you're making some decisions about your future, what it is you want. Um, you probably were not even really happy in this situation, but I feel like, or dissatisfied, but I do feel like it's more you feeling depressed. You want this, you want this divine love, you want this, but I feel like all you're getting is from this other person, this first energy is shit. Back and forth, back and forth, mind games, treating you like shit, you're not really important, they're just playing games, it's like not a good situation. So, you know, you are going to break the cycle though, which is good with the Wheel of Fortune, you know, you've realised it's time. You know, you could feel like you lack self-confidence, you have a lot of low self-esteem, you doubt yourself, you're feeling like you've got no confidence, you're vulnerable, but look, you're the king of cups. Like, you're going to be fine. You are the king of cups and you deserve the queen of cups. You deserve good things. You don't deserve something that is like the devil. Now, there is going to be two becoming one with the temperance. It's just about you um, having patience, waiting for divine timing. You know, um, they, it will happen. And I feel like for some of you, you've also got, like, it could be somebody from a past life. Um, it could also be somebody that you're going to have kids with, you know. But I feel like this other situation is a lost opportunity. Too much competition, too much arguing, chaos, whatever. So I feel like you need to do some work on yourself. Right, tell me about these lovers. The person that you thought was going to be your person, right? Originally, the first energy is not... They come in like Prince Charming, but they're a, they're a fraud. You know, the Seven of Swords, you're deceiving yourself into thinking that this person is. You want to reconcile or they want to reconcile, but also you're doubting yourself. It's like, you know, you're telling yourself that maybe you made a, mis made a mistake or whatever, right? Why do you keep going back and forth with this person with the Eight of Coin and the Two of Coin? King of Pentacles. You thought this person was going to be your person. But they weren't. They were manipulating. Mm. So... Your person, is your person the one playing mind games and gossiping here about you? Four of Pentacles in reverse. So somebody's being controlled by somebody who pretends to be this Queen of Cups, but then not. They're emotionally manipulative. They're codependent. They're needy. It's all about them. So this person, this fake queen of cups, is coming in and talking shit in, in, you know, this other person's ER because they don't want them happy. They want them to need them. They want them to, you know, they're codependent to them. They need them. 
you know they want them in that space of needing them um so they control them and i don't feel like i feel like that's the people that are gossiping they're they're talking smack about you yet you're not there so you haven't you're not standing up for yourself the other person is not standing up for yourself not, not standing up for you not standing up for both of you nothing tell me about the two of wands you're making future plans yeah future planning it's the exact same card you're working on yourself for now looking after yourself you know you're away from this person that's emotionally manipulative you're just yeah exactly what a card says you're making a plan your future planning and you got it twice so you're definitely doing that now tell me about the four of cups So you're like the Queen of Cups upright, right? This other person, this fake Queen of Cups in reverse is the person that's causing you grief. This, you're the upright version, right? You're the one that wants this King of Cups upright. So until you get that, you're not going to be satisfied. You, you know, it's, you know, I just feel like this person, your body and your mind and your soul knows that this person is not your person. You want the lovers, you want this divine counterpart, and I feel like there it is. It's coming. It's coming to oops, it's coming to you. You just have to let go of this past situation. Because it's not gonna make you happy. Can you tell me about the wheel of fortune, please? So you're breaking cycles. The Scorpio, Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, you need to because it's not making you feel good, right? You've got anxiety, depression, overactive mind. You have a lack of faith with this with the Star card. Like this situation is not making you feel good. Um, as I said, you're going to doubt yourself. You know, you're feeling vulnerable. You've probably got low self esteem. So be careful of that. Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody who's an animal lover. This is somebody who's hardworking. They're trustworthy. They're devoted. They understand the material world. They're patient, reliable. And look, they're coming in. To, they're coming in with an offer for you. Like here they come. They're trying to give you something, right? This person is coming in to you um, with their trusty cat on their broom and. You know, like they're coming in to give you something. And there you are. And there's the King of Pentacles. Like, this person sees you as like the Empress. And they're coming in to give you something. You tell me about the King of Cups. Yeah, you're just taking a break. I feel like you're exhausted after dealing with this person that was just, yeah, manipulating. You know, this person left you in the cold. Not the King of Cups, this other person, the Magician in Reverse. And you've got the decision. I feel like for some of you, it's like you need to make a decision. Do you want to go the old person? Do you want to go the new person? You don't really want to be alone, though. Right, tell me about this shared mission card. And accept love card. And the lovers. Me about this two of cups the hangman yeah you're letting go of a toxic situation and then meeting someone new yep exact same cards that i already had 
let's see if I can get some more cards here. Can you tell me more about this love and this lovers? You're moving on from something that broke your dreams. You're feeling like this person, there was a third party situation. Um, it was one sided. It affected your self esteem, but that was in the past. So tell me about this new future. You're walking away. You've got Ace of Wands. You're breaking a cycle. You're walking away, breaking a cycle. You've got the passionate new beginning and you've got Ace of Coin new beginning. Like this is freaking awesome. Good things are coming for you, Scorp. That's all i got to say. You've been in really, you know, shit situations, but I feel like this is, uh, it's going to get better for you. Can you tell me about this pest? Tell me about these people. <sighs> They're there to cause obstacles. Trust your intuition, though, because I feel like you know who these people are. But you're too busy working on you to really think much about these people. Why are they causing so many problems? Why are these mice, these pests coming in to cause problems for Scorpio and their person? There's a lot you don't know. A lot of uncertainty. There's deception, instability. But I feel like don't worry about it is what I'm getting. Like, you're going to be fine, right? You're going to be emotionally fulfilled. You're not going to give two shits about this person and these people anymore. Like, good things are coming for you. Yeah, because, look, better times ahead. You're leaving this shit in the past. Let them deal with their discord. Let them go and just let go of this people. Let go of this person. Let them deal with their shit. Like if this person is never going to be happy because these people are always going to be involved. Tell me more about this person's future. Tell me more. Can you tell me more about the person, Scorpio's person that they were dealing with? Lack of growth. They're not returning your, there's a poor return on investment, right? It's a life lesson for them. They're going to get their karma. Meanwhile, here you are, moving on, getting your wishes, future planning, making some decisions. You're overcoming this despair because you realize that there's better times ahead. And your wishes are going to come true, like I just said. Like, you really don't have to worry about this situation. I feel like, you know what, don't even, don't even think about this situation for another two seconds. Like, it's just a waste of your time. You've got good things coming, focus on that. All right, that's what I have um, for you, Scott. Please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Okay, bye.